So we were doing radio, and you know, in the corner of my ear, I can hear Radio Brent screening the calls, and I heard him say like, "No, this is not the Martha Stewart show." And he was like, "What?" So I, I, I was like, "What the hell does that mean?" Next one, he goes, "Martha Stewart," and I stopped immediately the radio show, and I said, "Something's happening back here." Erica, every once in a while, will just what? Something's like, going on here where I think Martha Stewart had like released our number by accident, and we're getting calls incessantly about a recipe that she has been All right, doing. let's take some of these calls. <laughs> number, number 11. Take call number 11. Right. All right. Um, I'll hit play. I got it. Hello? Hi, you're on the air. Hi. Yes, Martha Stewart did give your number out. Okay, and what, what, are, what are we dealing with And here? she said that you would help us with um, uh, recipes for Thanksgiving. Okay, what, what are we cooking? Giblet gravy. My mother used to make giblet gravy. I just love it, but I'm scared of it. I made it uh, once or twice before, but it didn't turn out like hers. What are some of the things I shouldn't be doing? I cook my giblets. Maybe I'm using too much water. I don't know. Am I supposed to throw the water out after I get done or reserve it? What do I do? Well, yeah. I mean, a, 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 a giblet gravy, let me just tell you right now. Um, I'm I, using it so I can put on my giblet, my so here bread you go. dressing, ha and my mashed potatoes. Half, ta half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon ground black pepper, one cube chicken bouillon, one stalk celery half, quarter yellow onion, quarter one quart water, 14 and a half ounces cans, chicken broth, four hard cooked eggs, two tablespoons cornstarch. You do use the eggs. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, you have to. Do you put eggs, those eggs. in there after you get done? No, it's, it goes in right in the middle of it, and then half half a cup of milk, you put it all together in a uh, two quart saucepan, similar giblets, salt, pepper, bouillon, celery, onion, one quart of water for 40, 50 minutes. Put on your mashed potatoes, you're good to go. Thank you. All you're right. welcome. You're welcome. Keep on calling with these recipes. I actually got two questions on safely thawing a bird and low, any calories you can save on making gravy, turkey gravy. Because I'm a heart patient. For the frozen turkey, you gotta go cold water, wrap the turkey in a large bag, obviously, to keep the juices, you know, tight. Okay. Submerge it in cold water, allow 30 minutes or so to thaw it for every one pound. So I don't know how big the bird is, but. 16 pounds. 16 pounds. <laughs> so you're gonna have to that you're gonna have to get on that the day before because 30 minutes. So I'm not a mathematician. I'm more of a cook. So you're gonna have to go. Thank you. Yep. You're gonna have to go 30 minutes for every pound. So that's obviously 16 pounds times 30. Eight um, and then just cook it immediately. Don't let it set. As far as okay. the low fat bird, it's Thanksgiving. So I know you have the heart condition. Check with your doctor, consult obviously. But I say don't go low fat turkey on Thanksgiving. It's one day a year. It's not gonna kill you. That's the, the doctors. Again, talk to them, but go, I just want the good stuff. One day a year. Let me have it. Thank you, and I'm watching Martha right now. Actually, so oh, she's nice. the best. Thank she's you. a doll. She's a yes, doll. Yes, she is. Okay, thanks, Kathy. Can you get sued if you tell someone with a heart condition just to go <laughs> full fat? <laughs> started the show talking about Chattergate. Daniela's left in the corner with the with the newbies, with the with the new kids on the block. And I guess because these guys are new and they're happy and they're excited to be at bar stew and How dare they're, they? they're making content and they're they see all these these beautiful minds, these creatives like large and big beautiful, cat, very BFC. beautiful minds. They're so excited. Daniela said, Enough with the chatter. She said, I hate you. I hate you guys. I wish we could get her on the line to defend herself. Oh, I think we can make that happen. We have Daniela on the line. Speak for yourself, young lady. If I wanted to snitch on these people, I would have walked into Erica's office, closed the door, and snitch. But I didn't do that. I tweeted a picture. I didn't even get up from my desk to take that picture. I, wa I was walking around the corner, and I was like, this is just bizarre. It's now 2 o'clock or whatever time it was. It was a mid-afternoon. I was like, these people literally have not shut up for 48 hours. Like, I can't even hear myself think at my desk right now. You know what? I took a call to action. I tweeted a picture. It's Barstool. Everything's on radio. Yes, Everything's on, on the Internet. And I kind of blew up their spot a little bit. And I think at the end of the day, these people will thank me because, you know what? I saw them be very productive at the end of the day. 
Anytime you take it to a social platform for everybody to see, mm. yeah, sure, you're not going directly to the boss. You went to the world. The uh, world sees your comments. But, uh, Willie, that's kind of what we do here, is it not? Is that your argument, Danielle? My, my, aim, my argument is my, my my argument, that's what we do here. And my other, other argument, if these people can't take a little picture from me and think I'm being a narc about it, then they have another thing coming. People at Barstool work their fucking asses off. They're out there desk all day saying, long. Nobody's saying Barstool yeah. people aren't. And I'm just saying well, these people came in very entitled. They sit around the desk. Ooh. I'm not, I, And they're talking like... like People who have been sitting there for a while can't even can't even be sitting at their seats anymore. Like it's crazy. First off, Daniela. I'm with you, Daniela. First off, on. No, you're not. Thanks, Patty. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your service. First off, right? <laughs> it seems like you're doing God's work. I'm doing uh, fuck. You guys talk a lot, so I, I literally just tweeted something. Everybody around us agrees. Like, and you guys all shut up yesterday when I actually tweeted it. Well, if we came over here to you guys could get to talk, I feel like that would be. The There's a difference between. Like, no, that's not. No, I'm not saying you're not supposed to talk. I talk to these people every day, but there's a fine line. Like. I'm sitting here trying to get my work done, and I came and think you guys literally well, have like why? four people here all the time. You're all speaking. Like, well, why Jack has not... talked the most in this entire office, and he was the one who wrote the tweet yesterday. So don't you like? I'm then, not. I have grounds to stand. So why would you not ask us to so say we'll take so. so just not talk so much? Don't I'm not fighting with anybody. I'm just saying some facts. Everybody in this area says you guys file. You guys talk a lot. I tweeted a picture. It wasn't meant to be blown up, and it got blown up for a reason because you guys talk a lot, and that's what happened. Yeah, I understand what happened. I was there. Okay. I just wish you would have. You could have easily talked to me, Jack, whoever. Okay. Well, I'm, I also don't know you guys well enough. I was, didn't feel like being confrontational. I tweeted a picture. I didn't. You didn't feel like up. being confrontational, so you tweeted something out to hundreds of thousands. It doesn't matter. How, why do you care how I handle it? The point well, you is, can't say you weren't trying to be confrontational. I don't. Wanna, I don't. Wanna, I don't know you. I don't want to look at you and say stop talking. And I don't think it would have gotten through to you. So I tweeted a picture. Didn't even mean for that to happen, and it happened. It was not my intention at all. It happened. It's not a secret that you guys literally were. Did not shut up for two and a, or a day and a half. So. Well, I've been talking to Brandon a lot because I'd never talked to Brandon before we sat here, and I liked him a lot, so I was talking to Brandon. That's uh, my, fine. Wait, you know what? I understand. Just take everything out of it. I sit here. I've been sitting here for since we moved here. I have had no problem. I've sat with Grinelli, Zot, and Spider. They all like to talk. They all have nice conversations. But you have to understand. You have to respect people's work. Like, let's take everything out of it. I know it's our school, but you, since you've been here, and since the three of you have been here, and since and since Paula Duke has been here, and Trista, you guys have literally not been quiet. It's like, been one day. It doesn't matter. It's enough for Gas to stay in the conference room. Gas has been here for ten plus years. If Gas has to get up and go sit in a conference well, room. If that was the if case, people, I, I walked over there and everybody said I'm, to me, and if everyone said to me, thank you, finally, somebody said something, or I, someone yeah, even came up to me and said, I feel like I told you so bad at Connor because I actually pulled him aside the other week and said, I, and so you've been told this before, and that's my point. I am it doesn't matter if I to you, you, and I just, if that was the case, then I just wish you would have said to me. Somebody said it to you. That's, that's another point. Somebody's already said to you, you have to stop talking so much. Is that not true? That was he literally a different told conversation. Me, he literally told me directly, I told him, don't, I already told him, don't decide. So if one person has to say it to you and then you have a tweet well, about you, I feel like it's a huge I'm issue. apologizing to you. I, I accept your apology. I have nothing I against you. I wish you would have talked to us. I don't, you don't need 16 people in the office telling you to be quiet. You probably just know it's a workplace and people have to get their work done. And honestly, it'd be different if, even if you were over there, but in this area, like, this is more social and business. And like, I get you're like edging to be content, but like, you have to kind of prove yourself here too, like. Trouble in paradise. There's no trouble. Aren't you kind of the peacemaker for that little area? Yeah, I try to be, but I, I, this one might be above my pay grade. I actually made the piece last time with uh, Spider and Danielle. I sat them both down and I was like, hey, same team, guys. Um, this one, though. Yeah, Big T kind of just like creeps me out. It's not as fun of a case. Yeah, he's just like, he's so, he reminds me of like Lenny from a vice, of Mice and Men. He's just going to like be a little, squeeze know, a rabbit to death. He doesn't know quite his strength. Yeah. He just took my ball and went home. I went over there. I, I'm, I've got enough people that don't like me here. I don't need to start that shit. I'm, I'm happy Danielle. She's like the enforcer over there. You're good. Danielle is a, she's a uh, spicy meatball. <laughs> She likes to fight. I like that about her, actually. I think we do need more people like that. It's hard office. to focus over there. Yeah. Is the talking actually a distraction? Yeah, big time. It's I'm, just, I I agree with that. I'm someone who, like, if I'm trying to get shit done, like, I can't even have anything. I just there. go to a different room, but it's still. It's already, like, people ban banter for a little bit, but when it becomes, like, an hour-long conversation about nothing that has to do with work. Show about nothing. Show about nothing. It's a blog about nothing. 
my intention was never to like blow up their spot. Like, how can you say that you went to Twitter with? It, it wasn't meant to be. I have like, I have literally zero followers who give a shit. Like, there's no, there's no. I had no intention of being like, at, like calling them out and like it just blew up. That's what happened. And I guess yeah, that's a repercussion. But like. That's how I chose to handle that. Sorry, it's bar school. Like, there's cameras looking at us right it's not, now. It's not about it's just bar school. I'm and just saying, also, educate them. Be a leader. You should be educated. Been here long enough to know. Like, he's been in trouble before. He know. You should know how we I operate. Thought it wasn't here. about me. Told me yesterday like, it wasn't about me. It's not a big deal. They're talking all the time, and somebody asked, like, I literally called them out. Now they're all quiet. Like, but you told me yesterday it wasn't about me. So why are you calling me out right now? He would have stood up as a leader and educate him. He would educate him on the, what what should be done, what shouldn't be done. Like you should know basic workplace. It's just anywhere else. You can't just get college. He doesn't know he has a, he can't stop talking for more than five minutes. I, I mean, everybody should know office, office etiquette. Like, no, it's, uh, here's, here's my like, thing. He and I had an internship. Hey, get this fire TikTok. Okay, so he doesn't know how to be quiet in class? Like, I, I just don't get it. So, you think from college you... But you assume people live that life. People don't always live You are. Yeah, but, but everyone's followed Barstool. Since Barstool started, that's what's happened. Like, back in Milton, like, Hank put out a picture of Feidelberg sleeping at his desk. That's just the way it goes. That's the culture. I'm not saying that, not that's culture. like the fear of like you get you get basically feared into doing. It. You say you coach him up. I sh I think it would have been fucked up if she when she was talking on radio if she would have just went into Eric's office and did it. That would have been a rap. If she would have been like, all oh, these people are just talking out here. Yeah. Instead of like, right. not honestly, up. like if it kept going that way, something would have worse would have happened than me tweeting that a picture. Been more of an issue then. <laughs> I probably was talking a little bit more than I normally would because I've never talked to Brandon before and I started talking to him. I really liked him, so I we were talking shit. a bunch. I mean, also, all, all you, I would have just appreciated if you would have come to me and said, hey, you're talking too much. I'd appreciate it if you would stop that. that. It could have ended right there. Okay, that's totally fair. Fine. Ah, ah. That is so fucked up. What? They said I was your first black, so you were like very excited. <laughs> That's, we don't, it's 2019. We don't say that. Hey, y'all say that. Yeah. Hey, y'all say that. I like Brandon. I was talking to Brandon. You're getting buzz now. Likeable as fuck. Hey, what's up? I'm Trista Crick. I'm new here. One of the first things that I did before I even came on the radio for my tryout was download Sirius XM radio. That's where everything goes down. That's where you hear about all of the crazy stories, drama, behind the scenes action, storylines that you need to know about what's happening at Barstool. You've got the big personalities like Dave, Big Cat, KFC, Willie Cologne. You've got shows like Barstool Breakfast, Barstool Radio, Big If True, The Yak. So much shit going on, all on Sirius XM radio. You can also get an ad-free version powered by Pandora, personalized for you. It's $4 a month if you're a student, so you need to get on that. Go to SiriusXM, S-I-R-I-U-S-X-M dot com slash scenes for more details. Hey, what's up? Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Careful, my arm. I got, a, I got a flu shot three days ago. Don't, don't do that. Give, don't. I don't. I don't give a fuck. Because if you're gonna Men squirt, just don't hug. like hugging, kissing. Oh. I'm a huggy, kissy guy. Whatever. I'm almost sixty years old. That's how I that fucking roll. Easy, yeah. When I met with all my mafia people in the '80s and the '90s, you kiss. You kiss, then you, can save, then you meet some you other guy, you kiss, you kiss. Blood. Then Freddy the Eye got out of jail for stabbing 30 people in the eye. You kiss, you kiss. It's what it is. Oh. Mwah, mwah. Ready to roll. <laughs> you kiss, you kiss, you kiss, you fight and make up. Tank's in the house. Hello, Hannah Banana. Hey. What's up, Tank? It's your birthday? Yes, it is. Happy birthday, Tank. 44. 44? The big 4-4! Four, four. Happy birthday. Tank! You look good for food. In the house! <laughs> In the fucking house! Tank! Frank the Tank! Not only is, well, this, let's say there's 271 employees here, he's the smartest guy on the floor. In addition to it, and you don't know this, has the best voice. His range, if, I, if the person that comes to mind, Pavarotti. Did you get my yeah, latest one that yeah, I put on my, yeah, on my podcast just dropped for this week? Oh, okay. No, I didn't hear it yet. It goes, meet the Mets, greet the Mets, come on out and meet the Mets. Protect your kitties, protect your wife. The guy in the next robes 
stab somebody with a knife because the Mets are giving tickets away. Anyone who commits a crime today, east side, west side, all about the town are coming down to meet the New York Mets. Oh, the rapist and the murderer are cheering in the seats. Where do they go? To meet the Mets. Oh, the Robin and the Thieving and they're getting free seats. Where they go to meet the Mets? Oh, thanks to Mayor de Blasio, they're committing crimes to come to see the Mets. <laughs> no more Rikers down the city field we go to get free tickets to the see the New York Mets. <laughs> brilliant! Simply brilliant! Standing ovation for 10, 44 years young, running a roll! Stu, I'm literally so pissed at you. Uh, we got no pictures. The fact that you put that on social media, mean? I look 600 picture. pounds. So I mean, many, listen, literally first of all, so. You looked amazing. Second of all, you've never been 600 pounds. If there was 10 of you here, you wouldn't be 600 pounds. Okay. Literally, no, no, listen, 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 listen. You look amazing. So many people DM'd me that, and they're like, you, you, you saw this, right? Like, as like you look ugly. <laughs> Listen, you need glasses. Your worst day is people's best day. I don't know, like, like your eyes looking at you are not the reality of what you look like. So just so you know that. That was a breathtaking picture, an amazing picture, a behind the scenes picture of the most beautiful woman in the world looking at her camera. Bang, end of the conversation, done. Please. Get away with words, Stu. Yeah, he does. Away with words. Now I feel better about it, but it was bad. We should get Rico this. Jersey. You don't think I'm right? Let's go. Yeah. He's taking he, himself old with, like, with Duca. Like he went I know. All right. Duca's gonna I know. We should actually have Paul on today. Yes. What? We should have Paul come in and address him. I mean, it's all He'll go Rico's crazy. Ball. It's like the greatest, cra it's the two craziest people in the office. Did Rico just block him? Well, he oh, called. Like a block is a big deal. No, Who's he called Rico? into Barstool Radio. Uh, Laduca did. I mean, Rico did. He's like, who's on? And it was me, Tommy, because Rico doesn't uh, like Eddie, his association with the Cowboys. Eddie and Laduca. Laduca was just on. Laduca didn't say anything. And then he goes, oh, no, I'm not talking. He hung up. I'm like, why do you hang up? He's like, because of the Cowboy. And then Laduca called him a pussy. And now it's So, yeah, we got to get we gotta get Laduca on the show. Yes. Maybe yes. Laduca just operates one of the cameras. Why do you hate Paul Laduca? I don't hate him. I just don't associate. That's my thing. I just don't associate with I don't Certain like people. that you don't That's like Paul Duca. Paul Duca's no. a friend of mine. Okay, I don't hate him. Dick. That's fine. You got into it with him. There's been certain people who've been on Lost the Radio. I've never called. I've listened been like, oh, I'm Nicole today. If they're on, I don't call. Will you apologize to Paul? Will we get him in here? Here he is. Oh, I want to say, you, I want you to apologize to me. Paul, it's just Oh, no, what are you doing? Rico, Rico. Every fucking week. Rico, come back. Come back. Well, Paul, I was, I was gonna give him a piece. Oh, this is where it's Lito Jack. <laughs> Just get dancing bears. All right, come on, come on in. Got a third. Got Paul, no, no, Paul, no, left. no, no. Left. No, he'll Three. stand. Yeah. He'll right. stand. You left. You stand. I'm not doing the charade. He'll what? stand. We've done it. No, I work hard. I got a ton of notes. Yeah, what are we doing? So we'll just get dancing bears in here. Sit what are you dancing what are you bears? What are you talking about? I, I don't know what you're getting. He's dancing. Now you got dancing. Now he's dancing. Rico, Rico. Rico. He's got a ton of notes. Rico. 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 We'll bring you in back in next week, Paul. I'm gonna Why? go get Rico. We gotta finish the show. I was gonna do this as a peace offering. Rico, come on. Let's go. What are you doing? He's out. Oh, he's out. I don't do that. I just don't. It's not my brand. Go ahead, 207 in the NLCS again. Oh! <laughs> For people who didn't hear that, what it, was that? 207? Not, not my brain. Two, two. Every week. Well, Wait, every week, 207 what? in the Paul NLCS full time employee. We were That's dealing fine. with Paula Duca before cool. you. Right. Wow. Fair enough. Okay, well then I don't get up and fake leave. All right. I did leave. I was out. Yeah, but you're here. We're talking. Erica said say. Erica did not stay no, say. No, she, no, she say wasn't. Stay. She, I know she's not in the hallway. She left. She went to LA. She left. She's, she's already here. gone. No, she was in LA. She went to the she went to the airport. I couldn't I couldn't let her. But you didn't see her. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. She's already not here? Yeah. Then I was blacked out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Like Interesting. That's it. All right. Good job. Cut that shit. Now you cut that shit. Just a tour to France of acting being put on today, but I could win like three different Oscars. What are you about to do right now? What? What are you about to do right now? I think oh, no, because, up never mind, never mind. Yeah, I forgot we sure. This was a last second. Like a lot of actors, they get a last second role. Let me read the script, not me. I go right into it. I'm immediately into character, but I'm a natural.
It's a professional. So what, what is the deal here? I'm Furio the bookie. I'm here to collect. Like, for me, I totally forgot because we Larry hasn't paid up. He hasn't paid his fucking bill. He hasn't paid his fucking bill in months. So I'm talking into the camera. Into this I'm camera. I'm sending the message into that camera to Larry. And then I'm going to bring Larry out on stage. Yeah, then you're going you're gonna <laughs> to stand here, send the message. And then Larry's going to be over there. Should I say welcome and then have him interrupt me? Like, yeah, welcome back. And then you're, yeah, you're going to yeah. move over. And then you're going to do it like here. In front of the desk? Yeah. So I'm going to... I'm going to get be behind, and then you're going to be like, come here. Okay, so I'm standing right here. I'm talking to that camera right there. Liam. It's sick fuck right there. Yep. And I come out here. I grab Tommy, Larry, and just start beating the fuck out of you. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, well, yeah. What's a whiffle ball right so. Welcome back, Barst. Hey, the sports get the fuck out of my way. Get out of here. I got something to say. Hey, hey, Larry, I know you're out there. I'm talking to you, Larry. Listen to me, you little stupid fish. You owe me money, all right? Hey, you like games, Larry? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. No. Hey, no. 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 Tommy, oh my god, what are you doing? Tommy's gotten the brunt were of it. Were you just stretching out your beat up? Well, I mean, my back hurts. Oh. <laughs> you got a jab in there. Uh, so, <laughs> Thursday. Thursday night. Great performance all around. No, oh, Pip, did you need this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Oshi. That's actually my notes from one interview that we did with Samuel Jackson. It says, I touched a boob when I watched you in Shaft. Nice. That was the only question I wrote for. <laughs> Great job, Tommy. Great job, Tom. Okay. Impressive. Okay. Tom. How many people have been four roles before 1137 on a team player? Wednesday. Can do it all. Versatile. Uh, like we need to. I'll make a list for quick. It's like geek and mean girl. Tommy's good job, Tommy. Okay. Hey guys. Pleasure as always. Pleasure. Good job. Hey. Tommy has left the building. Hey. Good job. Tommy has left. The building. I will bet anything. This is my clear-cut fucking fuck of the day. <laughs> yes. Hello? Tour my boys. sister's coming to the city, and I don't want either one of you to fuck her. Deal, I will not. You won't? No. What a storyline. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a turn of events that would be. Dana, you're not gonna try to fuck her. Let's see what she looks like first. <laughs> Marty, you're not gonna try to fuck her. Imagine you're just my father in law. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You don't get to talk. Pam. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. But Pangea could be things that are falling apart. No. They were all once together. Pretty much. There was just one side of the earth that was water. And then the one other side of the earth was a shitload of shit. Up. If you take. Shut the fuck up! Suck my dick! Good morning. We're here at a beautiful day in Calabasas, California, home of Kim Kardashian, Kanye, Drake. You may have heard of them. Well, today it's home to Barcelona Outdoors because we're going to meet up with the History Channel, Kings of Pain, kind of an intimidating name. And, you know, we got a little bit of a fancy shoot today, a TV shoot type of thing, big deal. I used to be on craft services back in the day. Be, Sir, can I get you coffee? Can I get you a croissant? This, that. Next thing you know, I get to be on the other side of it. The only catch is I get to be viciously stung by a bunch of animals that have like venom and things you know teeth that are going to be bad for me but there's no such thing as free lunch we'll take it i'll take it so let's go so gotta act cool like this is every day but this is so sick. it's like a place that it would be cool to go to separately not even if you're being like driven to here it's like bro this is a job this is so much like this is we're getting paid for this <laughs> it's fucking awesome dude most fun shit I've ever done. I met the guys, Kings of Pain. I was hoping that they would be underwhelming. 
Unfortunately, the one dude's Australian. It's the last person you want to get into like a pain off with is any Australian person. And the other dude almost died from a rattlesnake. Like, he was like paralyzed and came back. So I don't think I'm going to be able to intimidate him in any way. But you know what? I got heart. So, we got a bunch of ants. Try your best not to fling them all over the place. They're harvester ants. They're not going to survive here just because their colony's not here. But still, parks would prefer nothing be dispersed. So, tough it out. So everybody's got their own tongs. So you're your own police. When we did it in the show, <laughs> the guys policed each other. In this one, there's three of you and there's three sets of tongs. So you guys all have to police yourselves and you're all going into the same vat of ants. <laughs> and apparently it's like three different colonies of ants. Oh no. So same species, they're going to be colonies, pissed so off be at pissed each off. other before they're pissed off at you, but they'll be pissed off. How are you feeling? He's got up? a great point. You don't want to piss yourself on camera. That's, that's a vet move. I'm taking a page out of his book right now. How are you Thank feeling? My tongs. That meeting certainly wasn't great. <laughs> I didn't like that. It was like a last rites meeting or something, but I still, I still, this is how I do this shit. It's like before a hockey game or before anything. I just don't think about it, and then when the puck's dropped, I'm like, all right, now it's time to do this. It's all fun when it's an idea. Like, I'll even come up with the idea. It's like, oh, this will be fun. And then, like, until you see it, it's all just fake. Okay, ready? Okay. Which hand are you doing? I guess I'm doing the right. What are you doing left? Yeah. You're right, in the middle, so you can choose. Yeah, Rob needs his right hand. So okay. I do right, probably. You can yeah, do right or left. You're in the middle. You guys ready? Yeah. I don't know what's tougher, probably right hand. All right, action. There you are, mate. How's that? It <laughs> looked friendly enough, right? Look at these guys. Oh my god. I'm ready. Slip a digit. Let's do it. All right. Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting chills. Just I like the part where we talked before and more. Now, <laughs> now I'm starting to not like that. Dude, I'm getting flashbacks. Dude, I'm going towards the corner, so I'm gonna. Are you guys ready? Let's go, baby. Ready? Do it, Let's man. rock and roll. One, two, three. Oh yeah, there they go. There they go. There they go. There, get them off. They're on. They're on. They're on. They haven't started biting, uh, stinging yet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, they actually really hurt. You got that ah, up, yeah? There you go. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so. Oh yeah. Ah, now they got the pheromones. Yeah, you're right. Now they got the pheromones. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh there they we go, get there the pheromones. That's yep, what it was. The pheromones going. Ah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Ah. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Damn. Ah. Constant yeah. like searing pain. <sighs> That's how I describe it. Yeah, yeah. It's like being burned. Ah. Dude, your skin's turning red, bro. Uh, oh, I could be oh, That one's getting me too. Right, oh. Yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, I told the sound lady uh, I wouldn't scream uh, either. Oh, they're running to each other and stinging. Man. Ah, uh, dude, look at my hand. I can uh, feel it in my wiener, dude. It's like it's <laughs> tingling my whole body. I'm dead serious. I can feel it like oh. everywhere. <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah. The oh, wrist, yeah. Sorry, the wrist Two minutes up. since they started stinging. What? Two minutes. Two since minutes. They I thought it was yeah. way longer. Than that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more stinging now. Oh, ah. yeah, there, you there you go. Yeah, mm. that's ridiculous. Do you want to do a mutual like yeah, truce? I, yeah, on, on three. One, two. Wait, brush them off, Adam. Your best you can. Yep, 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 yep. Brush them off. I right, go, go. Three. Break, break, show, brush them off. Brush them hard, hard into the box. One. I can't even feel my hand. Oh my god! Look at all the stingers in me. Ah. Dude, oh, look, look at the you. chills. Look at the chill bumps. It is like they're still oh, going. Dude, I'm sorry. That's yeah, what's look at interesting. That. Shit. Look, that doesn't. Like they're not on, but it feels like yeah, almost. No, the same. that's the thing. It'll last for you know a couple hours. Yeah. Maybe eight. It's interesting. Yeah, those, look, at look at those. Yeah. How white it you is. Got, you got yeah. Your skin reacts. <laughs> Adam's just like that. Sorry, man. It was fun though. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's good. Once you're in it, you're like, we're no, you, no, you did great. The worst part was the minute before they started, because you're just like, yeah, the fear and anticipation. It's like, just do it. And man. we, like, on the show, like, we actually realized that that's like the scariest part is mm -hmm. before it happens. It really is. Like, he was not kidding. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's worse now than when it was in there. It's like, we're behind each other. It's still going. It just keeps droning on in waves. It really hurts. You keep wanting to like hit it. 
I know Rick is <laughs> Rick is uh ah. Rick is lots like All right, gentlemen and ladies, that's a wrap. Yeah. How's that? Thank you. Well, yeah, so the whiteness is so the whiteness is to be expected because you have the accumulation of blood cells, you got basal constriction, that is not to be unexpected. You see if you guys see how it feels hot right here? Mm -hmm. That's where the blood is rushing to. But question is, do you feel any pain up here at all? No, it just feels like weird, like he said up here, but it's not like. What are, what are those? Are they bruises? Yeah, it looks like he's got a little bit of bruising going Damn, on. Damn, yeah. No, 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 that's a rash. Oh. That's a rash. You can tell because when you push it, it goes white. Yeah. He's, What's having, he, he's having a localized allergic reaction. Um, <laughs> you, see, you, see, you see right here how when you press it, just for your own personal knowledge, yeah. you press it and it turns white and turns dark. If it doesn't do that, then that's a bruise. This one is just a rash. All right, that was a complete complete dream of a day even though i got stung by a million ants which you would think is not part of a dream that part hurt and it i'm gonna be honest it's still hurting very much it's like a consistent just constant pain it was a blast i'm, I'm just grateful for them having us out it was so much fun you had grown-ass men fighting for yeah. three hours afc north battle it's bloody it's hostile yeah people get ahead of themselves it's not like he walked on the field with a gun. So we got a uh, Miles Garrett apologist. I'm not an apologist. I so just feel like <laughs> no. I just feel well, like everybody does it. I, I just think it's being overblown because it was on Thursday night. If it happened on Sunday, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Huh? A take, Willie. Yeah. Well, then you should be happy. We should do highlights without rights. Highlights without rights. Yeah. We it's don't have the take. what? It's a good take. Well, I like the name. We used to do it. We don't have the rights, so we recreate the highlights. Swing at helmet. Would I be a pouncy? Yeah, you could. Yeah, I you could pouncy. be pouncy. Oh, yeah. oh, Tommy could also be Mason. What? <laughs> you could also be Mason. We might. Re we might. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We're not like you know. I can actually get hit with the helmet. I think, right? <laughs> Is the prodigal son returning to house without rights right now? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if this helmet's gonna fit. My head. No, well, no, it's really gonna be you. Yeah, yeah. It's but I, you look like a big head. Yeah, but it's, it's a lot of large head. It's just fine. It's deceptive. Okay. Oh, shit. No, that's damn. perfect. You don't no, have to some go skin came down. off. God damn. Yeah. Right. Don't push all the way. All right, perfect. Shit. Is he not? Gonna start bleeding. No. Who's swinging their helmet? Who? I got. So it. the swinger. He's Miles. He's your pouncy. Yep. Yeah. Rudolph is Tommy. And he's the guy laying on top of Miles on the ground. How do you feel getting into character? Um, it's a process, but I do it um, pretty flawlessly. I played four roles on Advisors the other day. So. How do you feel about the fact that almost all your roles are you getting assaulted? I mean, everyone has their own lane in Hollywood. Leonardo DiCaprio is a heartthrob. I get assaulted. You're ripping the helmet off and hitting on it, right? Yeah. And then let's see. It's a little, it's a like, little bigger on me than it was on Lily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But should we switch helmets? Because can't you put a steeler on this? Oh, no, you need it. This is the best. This is going to fit Tom. He looks like. <laughs> God damn. I think it's funny with Tom like this. Can you fit in the Fanduel helmet? Also, if you're getting it ripped off, I'd just It's easier to rip it off. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Like, we're not actually going to give Tom a concussion. You. Bruh. Do I look intimidating? No! It looks like a. Like a make a witty person. That's what I said. I would say it's easier. That looks crazy. Why does it look so crazy? There's something about the shape. There's something about the shape of it. His fucking is. nose. That doesn't help. But I think it's also my head. It just. You look like you stayed at a Holiday Inn last night, bro. This fucking. Which one? Oh, that one, right? Yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. So it's coming from action. Basically, like these, it's like the order the action happens in is the most important. So it's push to the ground. Tommy gets pushed. Kick. Action. <laughs> and land. Yeah. Oh, Should have had Friday. Hello. Oh, that sauce is in beer. <laughs> oh, you feel a little heavy? Huh? You feel a little heavy? Hit that beer and I taste <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, too much sausage. 
Uh, at 7 a.m. Action. Go. Great on the floor. Out right of way. Out right of way. Out right of way. Great job. Good energy. Good focus. It's another day of getting abused. Right, it's another. Hey, it was a pleasure. You know, first collabo, not the last.